So I finally was able to sit and write down my exact thoughts on like how to explain my traveler's notebook setup. I have been using this planning system since 2014 or 2015 and I never really changed. I I never really quite understood how I could explain why it works, but then after sitting down like for a good couple of hours yesterday, I was trying to figure out how to explain or how to share the system and why it works for me. I think I just want to address mental clutter. I have finally put into words what I felt or at least why I always thought I need a planner with me. With all the information that has been given, there are things that I don't want to forget. There are things that I need to track and make sure that I've done and something that I can easily look back to. And to be quite honest, I'm really a lazy person. I don't know, I write faster than I think, but the thing is, like, if I know I'm gonna do something like months from now, I don't wanna be thinking about it constantly, then I just want a constant reminder when I need to do it, which is gonna be addressed here when I talk you through my traveler's notebook setup. I only have one planner. It's one for life, one for work, and that's really all I need because I don't wanna have to look at other things just to figure out what I need to do, where I need to be, what I need to pay, and all that. So let's get to the good stuff. This is the traveler's notebook, and I only have two inserts at a time. So, this is my current or the 2023 yearly insert. It's going to be quite a flip through as well, but I hope this can explain properly how I do things. So, this is my December 22 spread. I started using these small icon stickers because if you're not aware, we have well we're still doing the whole hybrid thing like some are scheduled to go to the office others are scheduled to stay at home so it's like on a rotation kind of thing but there are days that i have to report to work so instead of me writing report to work i just put these stickers on it now i normally do this i normally do the monthly spread the last day of the previous month so if this is december 1 i already started working on my december schedule november 30 just to make it clear and normally the things that are here ahead are just the stickers for work schedules uh, appointments more of those things so i am gonna get my 2024 setup well yeah i'm gonna get my 2024 setup so you can see the difference and how bare it starts and then what it looks like after when so it's already december 3 right now it's still the start of the month so this is definitely going to be bare but i will go through it with you this is how different and well clean it looks like you can see the things that i have written ahead are schedules appointments parties things i need to do for the exact month and now that i had to move in with my dad i also try to take note of his schedule because i have to make sure that he has a car, the driver is with him, the car is gassed up, and, and all that. Because traffic in Manila is a pain. And I want to make sure that he doesn't have to like worry about things like gas and toll, RFID, and, and all that. But that's a whole entirely different thing. So this is how it looks like when it's basically the start of the month. So... I tried out these corner stickers. These are the days that I have to be in the office. 
I am not sure if it's going to follow through the entire year again next year, but I'm crossing my fingers that we're still going to be on a hybrid basis. But yeah, so it's very basic, it's very clean, it's very simple. I also tried to add a little kind of decor because I felt like I was so bare the last year, which is not really something you need when you need a functioning planner, but come on, it's, it's me. <laughs> so as days go by, I slowly fill in the things that happen during the day or like the significant things that I need to take note of, like here. I have payments and all that but there's really no need to write in spaces if there's nothing to write about I think I learned that I learned to accept that because I thought that like my planner had to be totally filled out to, for it to be used maybe it's just some weird thing I had in mind but yes that's how it is now in terms of planning in terms of planning this month at this monthly spread really summarizes the entire year obviously because now i can easily see you can all the convenience of looking back on the things that i've done helps a lot it's it's really nice to have it easily accessible for me especially since I know like work schedules, client calls, um, payments, everything I need is here and the information is complete. I could maybe not need to look at my weekly layouts but that's it. I, I felt sad that I didn't have much decoration going on but it still functioned the way I needed it to to see payments it's really just that my life revolves around payments and adulting i mean i i at least i try to be one but there um more payments i'm not really fond of this blue uh, i i i don't think i'll be using light inks anymore more information that i need when it comes to plans changing which i think can't be avoided anyway i really don't mind just striking through things i i don't it doesn't bother me at all that it's just a line through something but there oh when i when my friend and i went to hong kong we went slightly crazy so i also decided to keep writing the steps and looking at it now maybe we did kind of go crazy but there um really nothing out of the ordinary nothing special it's just really a log of important more important details for me so i see still it's all the same payments work schedule i don't know responsibilities and all that and yeah it's really all just that and this has been really helpful for me because you're not going to see the f oh there you're not going i when the year started i have these little page flags which are going to be seen here when i flip through my 24 setup so I have these little page flags and I have to move this as well but this helps me like keep track of annual things I need to do well not a specific date but definitely for a specific month that I need to do and if I have that it will be easy for me at least to figure out this day is free i'm not doing anything i can do this i can do that i can schedule something so it doesn't overlap it doesn't seem overwhelming if i need to do something all at the same time at least if i know that it's going to be a bulk or it's going to be a busy day i know i have a few days ahead to mentally prepare for that kind of load i honestly hope it makes sense because I don't mind the work, but 
my anxiety gets the best of me that I feel like I have to do everything all at the same time. But then if I do just follow a decent schedule or a decent time blocking thing, I'll be able to do this easy and it's not even really an issue. So I started a little bit lagging already in November because I was really trying to figure out what my 2024 setup would be. And it was crazy because I didn't know what to do until the very last minute. But I was sure about my planner, but I was really contemplating if what my memory keeping or journaling setup would be. This is my 2024 insert and how I have prepared or set it up for the year. This is the current month, so it has schedules already. Maybe on the 29th or the 28th, I'll start filling in my January schedule. I don't really have anything urgent planned on January, nor do I have things that I need to do by, the ja by January. So it's not nothing. It's really nothing. There's not much to set up because there's nothing to do yet. And in terms of there, so I have this little flag also. I think, so this one is in gray, this one is in green. So I have this little page corner sticker. I'm not sure on camera if it's reflecting that it's green and this is gray. So gray signifies work for me. Green is more like family. So this is my dad's birthday. And I do plan to take a leave on that day. So that's marked. But these are the little page flags that i was telling you about my birthday is in june but here you can renew your license maybe a month or two months ahead so at least i have this by may that i know i can start processing the renewal of my license it doesn't have to be in may 1 or may 9 it doesn't matter but as long as i start doing it already and i know i won't forget now, I also schedule dental appointments um, twice a year. So as soon as I'm done with this, this is gonna go flip to, je to December. I know that it keeps me on track. More, it's really nothing. I don't have anything else going on. I think November. So November, I have bank accounts to check on. And then I also have like Oreo's annual vet shots, medicine, and vaccines and all that. So it's there. And then oh, if June comes, that page flag, that page flag I had, it's going to be moved here. And we're back to January. I have kept like information or details that I need at the back of this insert. So I know that every, like, you know, like numbers and stuff, everything is here just in case I need it when I'm out. I don't have to rummage through my wallet, through my IDs and all because everything's written. And no, I'm not worried. Even if it does get lost, there's nothing you can do with the numbers because I have altered it in a way that I understand it. In terms of my weekly layout, this is the present this is for 2023 and i guess i could share exactly what goes through the insert i have divided this into four columns and it has helped me a lot in trying to manage things trying to remember things if you really want a closer look on how i get through days i this is the Traveler's Notebook Weekly and Memo Grid Dated Insert. I get this every year and I have fully appreciated it this year because I used to uh, plan in the vertical insert. I have divided the insert into four. So this part, everything here, appointments, where I physically need to be or if my dad has some place to be because I give him the car and the driver to use, that's everything here. So if this is clear, like 
here if that is clear it means i'm most likely at home and i don't have plans on going out i mean just physically being somewhere there's none of that this second column this is where i put the things i need to do specifically for that day so when i see that my previous what is this july i hope it coincides right it's going to be so yeah oh it's wrong wait 20 sorry i realized i was trying to check or consolidate things on the wrong dates anyway so you can see here how it works it's that i had dinner tuesday night and i have this dinner here things that i had to do is i had to email work stuff and these were the actual things that i did and just a few snippets of how the day was but that's how things work out in my well planner really everything just I don't, I, does it make sense i mean are you seeing this properly i don't know if it can be seen on camera well but going through this week you'll see like my five and six i have to be at work and it's here five and six i am at work and this helps me keep things cohesive coordinated and i am not surprised at i don't know stuff so oh the 12 isn't here so on like on the 12th every payments are here so you can see it matches um lunch i was at work i had to attend the wake yeah everything matches so this is the summary these are the details everything works together and it helps me keep track of things it really gets rid of that mental clutter i was mentioning earlier with everything i don't know with everything that you can see here everything laid out in front of you the plans it just makes everything easy for me and there this is already oh it's still july what i'm so confused right now it's still july and then this is the last week of july so yeah everything just matches and this is actually the first time that i've seen my planner like beside each other that it's so easy to consolidate because i never really sat down and thought of why it works so well for me because i always just took it for granted that it was something i can understand easily and i just, just agree and take it for granted which is yeah um eighth so see everything coincides everything is cohesive i think i keep saying that but yeah so that's how it works for me with the traveler's notebook and i intend to keep using this system this planning system i have until next year on a quick flip through this is really just how my 2024 spread looks like i might reconsider this micro journaling part for next year because i got myself a travel um I got myself a take a note an a6 and the intention is to have this there instead and here i want to track maybe a basic food planner maybe a food i don't know food tracker like because one of the hardest things managing like a household is the meals and i have like the worst thing when it comes to meal planning because i'm really just basic i mean i i don't mind what i eat really i just i really don't care but i get to be more conscious because of my dad so now i have to kind of like write down the things just in case it's needed but really not a big deal for my dad because he, well i cook too but that's another story so 
again this is how it has been and i don't see myself or i don't see this system changing i yeah see there are days that i just don't feel like writing but it doesn't mean that nothing happened but you know what i mean and this was the time when uh, this guy i work with went on leave and i had to do some well most of his job really while he was on leave and it drove me crazy that i wasn't able to like write as much that's why i've been pretty quiet on instagram for like the end of october and start of november really but i also got the time to think what i was going to be setting you know using as a setup i did not really look into keeping a habit tracker here i don't know why it just didn't at first i thought it was a good idea i really did but i just don't understand why i never bothered continuing it but this is how really my planner looks like when it's all bare and no stickers or anything because i just needed to write things down and yeah I wasn't even able to um, do anything anymore because I felt like it was... I didn't feel motivated to like plan in this anymore because I knew that my 2024 inserts were already here. And I knew that I want to start using this soon. The only setup in this insert is... Actually, I'm not even done. Well, I have, you know, co done the corner punches, but all I just do is have that line drawn and I have to do the same thing over here. But really, there is nothing different from this setup. And that is the in-depth um, explanation of why the Traveler's Notebook works for me. And on a quick side note, I want to share my Traveler's Notebook in the passport size. Personally, I love the passport size. <laughs> if I could get away with using the passport size, I would because I love how small it is. But I also love my standard size. It's, I don't know. This is my 2023 inserts. I was not able to get a dated monthly insert for the passport. And I'm still not sure if I am going to get one for next year. Well, I don't know if it's just a repeat of what I have in the standard size, but I feel sometimes like it's too small. Coming from me, it means it's really small, but I feel like it's too small, but it still works for me. So maybe instead of having this as a monthly layout, I could maybe just have it in the weekly layout instead so i have stopped using this and then i tried out because i really again i didn't really intend on having on using the passport size but of course as a collector i also have the passport size but this is how i saw myself using the passport insert as a planner with the same concept as the standard size i just divide the week back into two but this time there's really no micro journaling because there's not enough space for that so on the right on the left side it's going to be appointments and things i need to do i think yeah it's appointments and things i need to do and and on the right side it's the stuff that i was able to do because i still need to keep track of what things i was able to do because like payments and stuff it it really helps it's so easy to just look back on things like here i paid this i paid that and without having to go through so much files on my phone or my computer looking at transactions like historical transactions and all that this is so much easier for me because i already have an idea when i was able to do these things but the exact details that is what i'm talking about like um mental clutter I will remember it. Yes, I do. But at least I'm not pressured to remember it, if that makes sense. But 
there. I enjoyed using this. And I know it might seem repetitive to have this and the standard size. But I'm not sure if it's just an Aina thing. But I really, really like writing. It's like it helps me de-stress. But it is so fun for me to rewrite things. And which is why... I got myself the passport size inserts, the dated inserts this time. And I was able to prepare this a little more because instead of having a monthly, uh, well, the yearly insert, I have both books in here, the first half and the second half of the year. And I believe I have started with, I think I'm done, so yeah. So I was able to like do draw lines already but i believe i've also marked special dates so there this is my sister's birthday my best friend's birthday my niece's birthday so even without me having to know what it is since it's in green i know it's a personal day and i think i was able to fill those on until the second book yes yes until the second book so everything's there all the important dates that i have yeah ideally i would have this in my bag all the time or like a smaller bag and it keeps track of things and i am excited for it there's really no fuss in my setup to be honest it's more just the idea of portability and having all the information I need that I don't need to stress about it if some like random questions like I think the other day when our chief dealer asked for our entire leave schedule like who took a leave when and all that count because apparently something got messed up but yeah since it got messed up I was easily able to come up with the leaves that I took client calls that i made uh stuff i submitted which is so so convenient for me rather than going through files emails i know there's a filter or a search function in emails but i feel more relaxed working through all my stuff because i know i wrote them i know that i was able to do them and it feels very satisfying to be able to you know help myself do things or you know there are things that you don't need to stress about and having it written down with easy access to it just helps me you know not be so stressed not you know be bothered and just enjoy life even more i really sat down and tried to think how to express why the traveler's notebook works so well for me it's really no fuss. It's just a basic, basic planner for me. But it works so well. Especially when you've seen me put it side by side. My monthly and my weeklies. I hope this helps you figure out what the best system is for you. You don't have to plan for other people. I mean, like what I do, it's because it's effective for me. I'm sure that there are more effective more efficient even nicer ways to go through your days but this works for me and i'm sharing it just in case it works for someone else too so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video which is likely going to be the journal setup for 2024 so bye guys enjoy the rest of 2023 and i'll see you next time bye